Hey everybody, I am Virginia Bendick, Independent Sensi Consultant. I have a Bars to Jaws video for you. This video, I actually stole it from another Sensi Consultant, and I watch all her YouTube videos because her YouTube videos are amazing. Y'all probably know exactly who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Lisa Roseberry, and she's amazing. So I did steal this idea from her, so I'm not taking credit. For this video because this is who I dares. but we're gonna compare a candle to some wax now I did I love candles I just haven't bought any for myself in a while I need to probably start buying them again because I really like them but then I, I use the warmers because then I don't have to worry about lighting them and stuff it's just so much easier with Scentsy but I still really like candles. I like the ambiance that candles give you. It's just really nice. I really do like these guys a lot. Okay, so I went to Bath and Body Works to buy stuff for my secret Santa. Ended up buying stuff for myself. I probably told you guys that in the other video where I did the bars to the wallflower, which is the um, Bath and Body Works little oil wallflower plug-in thing. Um, but I picked me up some candles too, and I picked up some really nice candles that I think my Secret Santa is really gonna like. So, because my Secret Santa did put on there that um, a thing they like that they never buy for themselves are candles. So I bought them some candles. You know, I also did throw some Scentsy inside the Secret Santa gift, but I also sold some Scentsy to other people doing secret Santa gifts so it's not gonna be like hey oh there's Scentsy in there that's a dead giveaway that you are it because my secret the lady that, that the person I have for secret Santa actually buys Scentsy from me so it's kind of funny so I did throw some of it in there but then I also did other stuff I was trying to like throw them off of it you know what I mean but also did the whole well you know this person buys Scentsy from me so it wasn't me what are you talking about? I had a few people buy Scentsy from me for Secret Santa, so it worked out perfectly. But, um, because, you know, I gotta throw it in there. I sell it. Why not throw it in there, right? And that's kind of a little hint. So if they figure it out, they figure it out. Oh, well. But, hey, I'm spoiling my Secret Santa, right? And, I mean, it's a, it's a five-day thing where we, um, every day of the week for five days, we give them a little, we give them a little gift. And then we're supposed to give them a big gift at the, um, the end on, on Friday and then we're supposed to reveal who we are well I always overdo it for Secret Santa so you're gonna I mean people always want me to be their Secret Santa because I always overdo it I I am a very giving person and I like to give and so I always do <laughs> overdo it a bit like I would be maybe like most people would probably do like a candle one day and something else another day you know and then a big gift at the end I'm the type of person who I just kind of, I kind of like to overdo. I like to add like candies and s treats and snacks and everything for every day. So you get your gift plus you get some other stuff. I don't know. I'm weird. I know. Anyways, let's talk about this lovely candle from Bath and Body Works here, okay? So, um, I did, as you can see, I had it burning, the, yes, uh, I think yesterday. And I really like this one. This is watermelon and lemonade, Okay. And this is the uh, Bath and Body Works Scented Candle. Um, it's made with essential oils. Uh, I went down to Bath and Body Works. And they had their candles on sale. Normally their candles are, I think like $14 or $15. And they had them on sale for two for 20 Which is a great deal, guys. Because you're saving like intentionally, ten, like I think like $10 or something like that. If I'm doing my math right. It's pretty late, guys. I know. But... This one smells really, really good. Um, I do need to cut the wick down on here. Um, so before, long time ago, long, long time ago, I did sell another company that was, um, they didn't have warmers in their uh, wax bars. It was just candles and candle decorations like the cute little candle stands and all that. It was all candles, and we had testers for the candles. I ended up ended up just uh, I think I put them in a I used them in a Walmart, like an old Walmart warmer a long time ago or something because that company uh, no longer actually exists uh, at all. 
but I did sell that and I did learn a lot of stuff about candles then but something that most people don't know is you have your little uh, wick here when you um, most people just go blow their can candle out it's actually not good for your candle for you to just blow it out you need to actually like snuff it out so like either put the cap on and let it do that so it will end up burning your cap here or you have one of those um candle snuffers which is better for your candles it actually makes the life of your candle last longer instead of you just blowing it out i know i know i know i mean when you when you sell different things you end up learning different tricks and things and that's what i learned from when i sold the actual candles and the decorations and stuff but uh so if you didn't know that that's a good trick um, you also want to cut down, um, I have these, I have to find it, I don't know why, I, I put it away. I think it's in my bag of a few other candles I've had for a little while and I just haven't well, uh, uh, burned them. But, uh, cause they're kind of old or something, but, um, it's a wax cutter. But you can use just a regular pair of scissors too. But you want to cut it down, you don't want it to be, like you see how long mine is here. So, if you can see it there, um, you want to cut it down a little bit so that way when you go and uh, burn it again, you don't have such a huge, huge flame and it's more condensed into the area to where it can kind of, like you don't want to cut it down too much. Just kind of like cut it kind of like in half a little bit and nail it down a little bit. But, sorry about all that. A little education about a candle there if you didn't know. But, um. This candle smells really, really good. It has the, you know, the watermelon and the lemonade scent in it. And it didn't have a, oh, 1415 is what this candle usually is. So it's pretty close. Um, it didn't have the scent notes on this candle. So I couldn't really like use scent notes to figure out what uh, scentsy balls would be the best to use for this. So I kind of went off the smell and the name here. So I ended up going with the Watermelon Tangerine, which was from the Summer Collection. You guys know how I feel about this scent. I absolutely love this scent. It smells really, really good. And um, it just smells delightful. I love it. Oh, it smells so, so good. Okay. So, mmm. I went with this scent for the watermelon note in the candle, okay? And I was pretty excited to find a watermelon and lemonade um, candle during winter time, you know, I'm just saying. I was really, really excited. And they had so many other candles that smelled amazing and that I'm like, oh, I wanted every one of them. It's, it's kind of sad, I know. Um, and I mixed it with Squeeze the Day. Squeeze the Day is another one of my all-time favorites. You can actually buy Squeeze the Day right now. Oh, it smells so good. Um, watermelon Tangerine, you can only get it if um, you have it in your Scentsy Club or if you stocked up on it from the, um, from the uh, Summer Collection. I'm really hoping they bring this back because, oh... This smells delightful and delicious. And I know lots of people who are going to love this. Who actually love this scent. And I have it in my Scentsy Club. I have one ball of it in my Scentsy Club, I believe. Yeah, one ball. No, is it one ball or is it two balls? I don't remember. But I have it in my Scentsy Club. And um, a lot of times I can keep it for myself. And then some people would like to come over and shop my stash. And they usually end up getting it. But hey, it's in my Scentsy Club. So I'm like, okay, go ahead. But I mixed these two together, guys. I actually did one cube to one cube in a the same in the same normal. And oh, I'm like, this is what I did. Like I opened it up, and I'm like, okay, maybe that will work. And I put it in the normal. And guys, this smells delicious. Like absolutely delicious together i don't remember if i actually mixed these two together before or not maybe i can go back and watch my uh ball mixes videos you know but i did it for this candle because 
it smells delicious. And I had those going in my bedroom. I had the candle going in the bedroom. Oh, guys, it smelled amazing in my room. Like, absolutely smelled amazing. I loved it. And even my boyfriend loved it because he was like, oh, it smells good to you. I like the lemon scents the best. So, those are the, the scents he likes the best on the lemon scents. And he's like, you should use those more often. I'll be more than happy to use the lemon scents more often because I really, really like them. So that's what I ended up doing was mixing those together and uh, it just turned out to be a fantastic, fantastic mixture of the two of them together, guys. I'm telling you, turned out to be great. Okay. So, I have some other candles that I didn't pick up for myself, and um, if I get any candles from my Secret Santa, then I would definitely do some more ball mixing with the uh, some balls to jars for you guys if you like them. I really did like um, seeing Lisa do the balls to jars, and I figured I had a candle. Why not do the balls to jars myself, which was amazing. So... Yes, and I have some other candles that I've had for a while that I can go ahead and do some bars to jars for those for you guys too. Um, I have let me see, I have this candle here. Um, I like this one a lot. If you can tell, I formed a, quite a bit of it. Uh, this is a cute one. I don't remember where I got this one from. It's oh, I need to dust my bathroom, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I've had this one for a little. I don't remember where I got it from. If it was a present. Or if I got it from a subscription box I used to get a long time ago or something. But um, this is, oh, it's from Great American Opportunities. Who knows? Oh, I think this was a fundraiser that the kids did one year. That one of my kids had or something. I think this was a fundraiser. So I bought it from that. Um, but it smells really good. And it says, it says pumpkin pie. So I can find something to mix for that, for sure, to get something to smell similar to that. Um, I do have another one up there at the very, very top, but the other one has no name at all. I don't really get a scent from it. I think it's just a regular, like, candle. I don't really get a scent from it. But that one came in, like, a that Fit Fun subscription box. But anyways, I love you guys. Never give up on your dreams. And keep going, because the Lord is for you guys. Bye.